Hello, Alice. I'm not sure if you know, but you've been in some woman's belly for a month now. Some woman's? <laughs> Why, you? Fine. <laughs> you should be resting, Mommy, because you shouldn't be getting so worked up in your condition. Come on, you have to take this seriously. <laughs> okay, seriously. Alice, I'm talking to you from the year 2021. Your birth is five months away. Now, we wanted to record this memento for you, so you'll have something to look back on. And let me tell you, we're looking forward to meeting you. You know, we've been trying for a couple of years. You know, uh, there were complications. And as a policeman, I worked very long hours. When we found out we had finally been blessed with you... <sighs> Better stop for now. Frog in my throat. Better not tell your mom, because since she got pregnant, she's had a hankering to... Eat strange things! What's that, hon? Hey, little Alice. I know it's bad manners to mention a woman's age, but sorry. You're really getting up there. You're six months old. <laughs> and I managed to wrangle three days paternity leave away from the station, which these days is a rare gift. Trust me. We went to a park today. Your mom found it extremely funny to splash me with the water from a fountain. Repeatedly. <sighs> I'm feeling you'll be just like her. I hope so. Maybe you'll have more patience with idiots than I have. At the park, we met some self-righteous pri- Jerks. They said we shouldn't have brought you outdoors. You could be exposed. Come on, honey. They were just showing their concern. These are scary times for some people. See what I mean, Alice? Mommy is way more a people person than I am. I really do hope you take after her. Your daddy is more the crotchety type. Don't listen to him. Your daddy's a marshmallow. Alice? I'm going to be honest with you. Hopefully, by the time you get to hear this, this virus thing will be ancient history. But you, baby, you are your mom's and my future. And we love you. And that's all you need to know. So there. Dennis, they're in the streets again. Another protest. Ignore it, honey. My buddies at riot control will handle them. How's it going in there, little Alice? Still dark, I'm guessing. Believe me, you're better off in there than out here. I got special orders now. We're supposed to monitor people's temperature, isolate them if they're hot. And they're building these checkpoints throughout the city. Command keeps saying it'll all be okay. And that's what I tell people out there. But I don't know if I believe in myself. How could it be okay? There's a cover-up going on. They faked the data about the virus's spread. Don't go down that rabbit hole, honey. You'll get yourself worked up again. I suppose you're right. Okay. I think I'll go and lie down for a while. And what your mom really needs is a night out. Maybe a nice dinner. But everything's closed. People had work one day, none the next. It's gotten real tough out there. Even as a cop. I understand why people are taken to the streets. I'm trying to stay afloat, me and your mom. Not to expose ourselves, or, above all, you. I think I'd go crazy if something happened to you. And your mom, she's so stressed out. I sing, you are my sunshine, <laughs> to cheer her up. Because she is my sunshine. And you will be our shining star. And together, you and your mom will drive away the shadows. That, yeah, that I have faith in. Two months until your arrival. It will be all right, little Alice. Hey, Alice. We couldn't get to a hospital. They're all closed because of the lockdown. And I was told the military hospital is reserved for wounded first responders as well as officers. So, doctors say you're on uh, a high-risk pregnancy now. Already up to some mischief in there, eh? Good thing my buddy Leonard, uh, Uncle Leo to you, is a doctor, or... I'd rather not go down that path. Leo will deliver you 
here at home. He's bringing a nurse, so it'll happen just like in a hospital. Leo expects your mom to go into labor this week. He'll hightail it over here as soon as that happens. I don't like to admit this, but I'm scared. Yeah, cops can get scared, especially these days. Oh well, so much for these recordings being the joyful record of your pre-life life. But it's helping me somehow, you know? Talking to you. Since the walls are finished, they imposed martial law. We're supposed to enforce that. But clashes with civilians are becoming more and more violent. People are going crazy, looting, and worse. Worlds falling apart, my baby girl. I didn't know. Yeah. I couldn't know that at all. I'm so sorry. This is not the life I wanted for you. It's January 7th, 2036. I found your recordings. Um... I understand why you hid these for me. I was sad when you said this wasn't the life you wanted for me. You don't regret that I lived, do you? No. Of course not. I mean, sure, life is complicated. We just moved for the tenth time, we had to kill Rex, and then, you know, Mom died. But hey, I've got all my limbs, I have enough food to eat, I have friends, I have you. And after 14 years of zombie shit, I think I turned out all right. <laughs> I see every day how hard it was for you and how you try to make life better for me. And that, well, if it wasn't for me, you might not. I can't even say that. I don't know what life used to be like. I only know the world as it is now. And I just want to tell you that, well, I don't know, that I'm happy to be alive, you know? And that I'm grateful for that. Anyway. Um, happy 50th birthday, Dad. And believe that Mom's still shining her light on you to keep those dark thoughts away. I love you, Papa. <laughs> <laughs>